one of the major differences between those who will win and those who constantly struggle, those who never get to that place. And it's all about where, where are they looking and what are they seeing and what's playing in their head, okay? And so you can take two people here, and I'll, I'll redo this just in case you missed the, the Facebook. I'll do it fairly quickly because we've got a few other things to cover. Do, 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 do. Okay. So you got uh, you got two people in a place. Okay. And this could be two people in a group. It could be two people in a uh, at a convention. It could be two people just in a company, both on social media. Both of them at the same status, okay? So rank zero, uh, you know, recruits zero, uh, customers zero, right? So same status, okay? Now we can look at their past and say, let's say, because by the way, have I, have I met people who have... Uh, similar or maybe even not as bad pass as, as I've had for sure okay and so past maybe that maybe they went through for maybe they went through one foreclosure right so you know I uh, I had more than one but uh, but let's say that they went through at least one right I mean you gotta go at least through one foreclosure okay let's say they've been dead broke once okay dead broke once I've been dead broke twice, just once, okay? Um, and dead broke meaning they're just not able to pay the bills, period, everything's late. That That's kind of one of the, not necessarily homeless, but maybe, right? Um, so foreclosure, dead broke once, uh, rough childhood, okay? Uh, non-supportive spouse or family, right? So let's say that these are like the similarities. So person, you know, A, person B, okay? So they got rank zero, recruit zero, customer zero. Both, all, both of them have been in foreclosure at least once, dead broke at least once, rough childhood, non-supportive spouse, non-supportive, you know, family. Maybe both ridiculed. Okay, so you got these things. One doesn't make it, one does. What's the difference? What's the difference? Why? What, what's the difference? I mean, on paper, either neither of them should make it or both should make it, right? Well, actually, this has nothing to do with whether you succeed or not. Nothing. Zero. Nothing to do. See this, you know, this, you know, you could call this current, right? And this is obviously past. But what's not here is where are they focused, okay? And what I've noticed is the person that stays in struggle town, they can't see, they can't see past this. Like the, if there was like a, a, you know, a brick wall here, right? This is my terrible drawing of, some kind of brick wall, I don't know, right? Uh, whatever. So this person, okay, let's say, yeah, let's let's go with let's go with B. Okay, B cannot penetrate this wall. And it's the wall of here are your current results and here's your past. Here's your past evidence. B, what's wrong with you, man? You trying to be up on stage? You crazy? Don't you know what you've been through, B? B, turn around, look at your past. Come on, B, crazy, right? So B says, well, this is what I got. This is my past. Here's my resume. Best I can do. So it's all I can do, right? So A, same current, right? No rank, no recruits, no customers, foreclosure, dead broke ones, rough childhood, non-supportive spouse family, ridiculed, made fun of, 
People throwing things at him. A, come on, bro. Seriously? Want to be a speaker on stage? Real cute, A. Eh? Get back to your, you rich yet, A? Eh? Right? So A hears the same crap and nonsense that B does, except E, A, is able to see past the wall. It's the only difference. Right? So because of their ability to see past the wall, they will take a different set of actions, and even if it's the same actions, the actions are different. Okay? So this, so B might say, hey, I'm doing this deal, and you know, I, I really could use some customers because I, I don't have any. A is like, hey, I'm building an empire, and I'm gonna do it with or without you. Love to do it with you. See the difference? Because A is seeing past the wall. A is saying, hey, I can see past this wall here. And behind this wall, there's a stage where I can make an impact, right? I can make an impact on that stage. I can, I can get, you know, adoration, people digging me, people thinking, you're cool, A. A, you really inspire me, bro, right? So A can see past this. So A sees a point in showing up. B doesn't. B's like, why would I bother showing up? Why would I bother showing up to the convention? I don't have a team. Look at my results. A says, I don't have a team. I need to get my ass to the convention. I don't have, I don't have a team. I got to play this contest. I got to swing at, at, at every, everything that I possibly can for me to get new results. So A, here's the same ridicule. Hey, dum-dum, you failed before. Never going to make it. You're never gonna make it, right? A hears the same thing. B hears the same thing. B, because of their inability to see past their current circumstances, succumbs to that. And maybe B still shows up. Maybe maybe B still, you know, in the game on auto ship or something, or in the group or or whatever. But B definitely isn't playing. Not playing to win. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna share a couple different insights here. Okay, first of all, Russell Wilson. So, <laughs> I'm not a Seahawks fan, necessarily. I don't hate them, right? Um, I, like, I, I wish they would have beaten the Patriots. That would make me much happier. But um, Russell Wilson, in an interview years ago, he said, uh, uh, you know, he's talking about, I believe he, I wrote a blog about it. This is so many years ago. But he says, you know, hey, man, when I, was, when I was little, you know, I didn't have everything. But, you know, I thought, why not me? Why not me. Why not me? Now that is an A personality trait. A says this. Okay. Now B says, not me. Not me. That's what B says. B says, I can't win a contest. Why bother? I don't have a team. Why bother going to the convention? I'm not going to be shown on stage or get a plaque. Why bother? I can't possibly compete against all these amazing alphas. How can I possibly? Why, why bother? Not me. That's what B says. Again, same situation. Similar past. Similar current results. A says, why not me? B says, not me. Doesn't even bother. Why should I even bother entering the contest? Why do I even bother? Even, even, even taking the time to put my numbers down. I didn't win. Not me. But see, you don't understand. It's the act of showing up and you keep showing up despite everything else. That's what gets you on stage. See, the company didn't launch and say, all right, let's see. Uh, people in seats uh, A3, uh, B17, and C9. You guys are our speakers. Come on up. No. <laughs> Every speaker either earned it from their past, possible, right? Or they earned it with the company. They got on that stage. They earned that stage. Keep in mind, every company that ever launched, A's and B's were all in the audience, right? Companies in pre-launch, everyone's an A or a B, right? I mean, I guess there's a master distributor, 
but you know, and they, they sit at the top of the, of the pyramid, right? But, um, but everyone else, A's and B's, right? No results. So you either see past the wall or you don't. And a lot of people don't. So someone with the same pass, same current results, will go and smoke B, and B will say, what happened? And so then B will, will deconstruct it. And they'll say, well, uh, did you have, uh, do you have like a super nice car? Uh, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a car when I started. Okay, okay. Um, and instead of, instead of grouping similarities, okay, they group differences. So this is a B trait. A B trait is, let's find the differences. So did you have a nice car? And they said, no, no, I don't, I don't have a nice car. So B will ask future A. So this is future A, okay? So B, who's still in the same status, will ask future A, would you have a nice car? And he'll say, no, no, I don't, I don't have a nice car. So B won't even bother to list the similarity. Like, like B won't even bother to say, oh, it didn't have nice car, <laughs> right? They, why even bother? Why would you write that down? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Did your spouse support you? No, not really. Hmm, okay. See, they won't even list it. They won't even list it. They won't even list it. They won't list the damn similarities because if you looked at the similarities of future A and U and B, you'd have a whole freaking list of them. You'd be like, holy crap! They also went through divorce. They also struggled with drugs. They also had a bad childhood. They also failed before. You would have a list a thousand deep if you listed the similarities, but B's don't. Mm -mm. They'll say, okay, um, did you, um, let's see, do you have nice hair? You know what, you got pretty nice hair. You know what, you got nice hair. They have nice hair. Yeah, you know what? Wish I had nice hair. Now, where now where'd you grow up? Did you grow up in uh, Did you grow up in Cleveland like I did? Well, no, I, I didn't grow up in you know in Cleveland. You know, I grew up in Detroit. Ah, got it. Not in Cleveland. Okay, got it. Now it's making sense. Now it's making sense. Yeah, now I see future A. Lucky bastard. Nice hair. Not in Cleveland. Now it makes sense. Okay. All right, so um, did, you, uh, uh, did you have a lot of warm market that supported you and bought your products? No, I, I, I didn't have that. Oh, okay, all right, never mind. Um, won't list the similarity. Will not list it. They'll never list it. Bees will never list the similarity. They will never do it. Why bother? Why bother with similarities? I'm trying to find the reasons I'm failing here. I'm trying to find what's different with you that I don't have. See, that's my goal here. So this is the success prevention checklist. I know you can't read that because it's terrible, but this is my success prevention checklist. We're going to call it a, an SPC. Let's do this, baby. SPC. So how many of these things can I lift off, right? Let's see, did you, did you go full-time right away? No, I wasn't, I, I wasn't full-time right away. Mm, okay, all right. Let's not list that similarity. Let's keep this blank. In fact, I mean, <laughs> even... Uh, <coughs> <laughs> let's, let's, not, <laughs> let's not even have that as a category. Why would you want that as a category? That's crazy. Similarities. Whew. All right, okay. So uh, were your parents well off? No, no, my parents weren't off. Okay, okay, all right. Um, let's see. Did you go to college? Oh, I went to one year. Ah, one year of college. Of course. God, if only I was smarter. Like you. You went to college. Well, what do, what, well, what do you say to people that didn't go to one year of college? Uh, keep going, <laughs> right? Let me find all the things that are different between me and successful person. Then, then I'll be able to walk around with a, a shirt that says, here's why I can't succeed, guys. Look, look, I'm, in, I'm, from, I'm from Cleveland, right? I'm not from Cleveland. I'm from Indiana, right? But my wife's from Cleveland. 
right? So I don't have nice hair. I'm not in Cleveland. Didn't do one year of college. Nah, good for you, A. <sighs> lucky, so lucky. Can't believe you, A. How dare you say that I can do it? Look at all these differences, A. Come on, man. So I'm going to read a, uh, is that helpful? I think I broke my marker. I get a little excited from time to time. Hope this is okay. By the way, these are things your, your upline can't do for you because uh, it'll scare you. <laughs> they feel this. They feel this way, but they can't do it. So I'm going to edit this. Okay. I'm going to edit it, but I'm going to share with you a, a poem, not a poem. This is from a rap song. All right. But I'm going to edit it because there's a few, there's a few, um, just silly, silly bird words and we don't want to say these things. And so, uh, so I won't, I won't say the, uh, the curse words, but it's from Eminem and anyone like, like, you know, I, I, I listen to lots of things. So I listen to rap. I listen to classical. I listen. I don't really listen to country. I'll be honest, but um, I I really like these lyrics. I really like them. I think they're really really powerful. So I'm gonna edit it. So there's gonna be some things that may not rhyme, like I may say duck or something like that, right? But but the 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 lyrics are very very powerful. So this is from a. This is a. I, I don't know that this is a very well known song. Because what I noticed was it played on the radio for a little bit and then it and then it just didn't. Um, and by the way, I'm not condoning Eminem. I'm not you know idolizing him or anything like that. But I just like the lyrics. So, so for those that don't know, Eminem rapper, real name Marshall Mathers. So the the song is uh, B O B Part Two. B O B Airplanes Part Two. So it says, let's pretend. And I'm not going to try to sing it. Right. I'm just going to like read it to you. Let's pretend Marshall Mathers never picked up a pen, okay? Let's pretend things would have been no different. Pretend he procrastinated, had no, motiva had no motivation. Pretend he just made excuses that were so paper thin that could blow away with the wind. Marshall, you're never, Marshall, you're never gonna make it. Makes no sense to play the game. There ain't no way that you'll win. Pretend he just stayed outside all day and played with his friends. Pretend he even had a friend to say was his friend. And it wasn't time to move and schools weren't changing again. He wasn't socially awkward and just strange as a kid. He had a father and his mother were crazy as, yeah. And he never dreamed he could rip stadiums. And just lazy as, yeah. Screw a talent show in the gymnasium. You won't amount to anything. I'm, I'm editing here. You won't amount to anything. Quit daydreaming, kid. You need to get your cranium checked. You're thinking like an alien. It just ain't realistic. Now pretend. They, they, they didn't just make him angry with this. And there was no one he could even aim at when pissed. And his alarm, very important part, and his alarm went off to wake him but he didn't make it to the Rap Olympics, slept through his plane, and he missed it. Because he never risked it. He hoped and he wished it, but it didn't fall in his lap, so he ain't even here. He pretends that. So think about that for a second. So what he's describing is when he had his, ma his major uh, career breakthrough, it was when he showed up, to the Rap Olympics and got noticed and then got in front of Dre and then, you know, has made hundreds of millions of dollars, right? And so what are you not showing up to? What's your Rap Olympic? What's your Rap Olympic that you're not showing up to? I can tell you one of mine that I almost didn't show up to. Some of you know this story, but I was uh, a junior a junior project manager for county government. So I know it does sound as a as awesome as a rap Olympic, right? But junior, junior project manager at, at a county government, they asked me to do a presentation in front of the, the little department that I worked with every day, had worked with for five, maybe six years, and I didn't sleep for three days. I did not want to show up. I was sick to my stomach, and my hand was on the phone to call in sick. It was on the phone to call in and say, oh, I can't make it, I'm so, I'm so itty bitty and tiny. Right. 
my hand was on the phone, but instead I said, you know what, I'm going to go. And I totally blew it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I uh, spilled water on my shirt. I developed a stutter. My boss accused me of being on drugs. But if I didn't create that feeling, if I didn't create that feeling, whatever that feeling was, if I didn't show up and it didn't just land in my lap, if I didn't show up and I was just lazy, scared, played small, thought, not me, if that was me, I wouldn't be here today. There's no way in hell that I would have had the courage to leave that job, go to another job, leave to start my own business, and be on here with you. Okay, that was my rap Olympic. What's yours? But see, here's the thing. There's a lot of things. I, I've now officially broken the pen. <laughs> Let's make sure this is dry erase because sometimes Sabrina likes to. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see these, this right here. But let's say the stage. There's a lot of steps. Okay. So, me showing up in, uh, I believe it was August 2009, I show up to a pre-launch of a company and I'm in the audience, I'm not a speaker, right? Nobody, nobody knows me there. So August 2009, I show up, I'm in the, I'm in the audience, okay? And, uh, and, and I, I see, you know, it's a pre-launch and you know, I'm looking around, I see some people on stage and I see people on stage and I think, why not me? Now keep in mind, I was in foreclosure. <laughs> August 2009, I'm in for I'm in, I'm living in a house that's in foreclosure that I'm I'm bobbing and weaving as I leave out the door. I mean, before I, I kind of like I kind of yeah I kind of look I look out the blinds, then I open the garage door. I look back out the blinds, then I look out the garage. I get in the car, I dip, and I shut the garage. Okay, and so that's August 2009. I'm at a company event, and I'm sitting next to rank zero, recruit zero, customer zero, everyone around me. Same status, although there was, uh, I think they're actually back then, I can't say everyone was this, but a lot of us were this. A lot of us were zero, zero, zero. Okay? A lot of us were. And so I sit in that, I sit in that audience and I say, man, I see these guys on stage and they're awesome, but why not me? Why can't that be me? Why can't I step up and, and, and get in there? Okay? That's the difference. So that was one step. And then it was uh, that company ran a contest and I said, why not me? And I showed up and I wasn't, I wasn't the number one guy in the, in the contest, but I won the contest. But, but I was, I, you know, you had to hit a certain something. I, I don't remember, but you had to do a certain something to win. I wasn't number one, but I did meet the criteria and got something just like any of you that played this weekend. If you said I prospected one person because I only had four minutes this weekend and you recorded it on the form, you won. We're sending you something in the mail. It's kind of cool, right? And so they had a contest. So I, so I jumped into that, man. And I didn't win. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, most of the contests in that company. Now, I met the criteria. I'm, I'm careful to say one. I met the criteria of every contest they ever had. But majority of them, I wasn't number one. Majority of them, I wasn't number one. I mean, there, there almost always has been, um, I mean, I'm, we're pretty good at recruiting. There's, there's, you know, but we're also good at recruiting recruiters. <laughs> so we've recruited people that have out-recruited us many, many times, okay? Um, never out-earned us. We've never had someone that we recruited that out-earned us, but we did have people that we recruited that, that out-recruited us, okay? And so there's another contest. So here I come. And then I show up in uh, 2010. I show up to, um, and, and I is, is because I had, you know, some of my team, I show up to a, a thing called Live the Dream, and I'm in the audience, right? I got a few of my teammates that are on speaking because I had recruited a few people from, from uh, MLSP. And uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm in the audience. I'm like, man, you know, I wish I, ah, man, I really want to earn that, that stage. And uh, the next morning, Norbert texts me and says, hey, man, you want to be on stage, interview Mike Dillard? I'm like, um, yes, 
right? So sometimes it happens faster. If you've been taking these steps, now you've been sitting in, over here in Struggleville and saying, here's why I can't pay on change. Here's why I'll never win a contest. Well, then you don't get those calls. If you've been taking those steps, you get those calls. If you've been showing up, if you've been taking the steps, if you've been showing up and taking the steps, if you've been saying, why not me, you get those calls. And people say, hey man, boy, I would love to have you come share your story on our stage. You don't take those steps, because you just, you know what, Ray, I just want one step. I want one step from here to stage. Whee! I just want one step, Ray. I don't want to do all these little steps. I want one step. Whee! Which is what a lot of people do. They say, Ray, Ray, man, my story is so, is so tough. And hey, listen, I'm not making fun of your story, man. I know stories suck. I know this sucks. My story sucked. But no one wanted to hear it until I got out of my story. No one wants to hear your story until you get out of your story. No one wants to hear it. So there is no wee, and you land on stage because of your story of struggle. No one wants to hear rags to rags. No one wants to hear, you know, foreclosure, I'm still in it, guys. I mean, if I'm starting this live with, hey, guys, I'm still in foreclosure, but, you know, really, I'm trying hard, guys. No one wants to hear that. You guys aren't on here. You don't pay for access to a, a Facebook group. Some maniac still, you know, not producing anything. What could you possibly learn? So stop looking for the wee. How do I get on that stage? You take the damn steps. You, you try at every contest. You may not win. You show up. You go to every convention. Ask your successful people. Hey, how many conventions did you show up to until you were on stage? I guarantee you, some of them, hundreds. How many contests did you try before you actually won one? Some people, hundreds. But see, every time you're building that muscle, you don't just land in the you know, Mr. or Mrs. Olympics, right? You don't land in the Olympics. You don't land as a professional baseball player. You know what, Ray? I just wish there was a talent scout, you know, just in my backyard. And so he could just see me swing that bat a couple times. And wow, man, he'd just say, Ray, you're pro material. Uh, that doesn't happen. You got to show up to that little, you know, uh, home run derby. Then you got to show up to the triple A league. Then you got to show up to the farm league. Then you got to show up to the, the next darn thing, right? <laughs> you got to show up. You can't, you don't just land on stage. You don't just land in the pros. Oh, I hope this was helpful. I really do. So what's the action step? Okay, if you've, if you've made it this long and you weren't scared off by me breaking markers. But uh, the action step for you is I want you, I want you to start looking at what are the similarities? This is something no B will ever write. So you immediately alter your energy by just writing this. I want you to look at people that are successful. Okay? I want you to look at my story, other stories that you've heard. If you've been to your company convention and you've heard the recognition stories, I want you to, I want you to list at least 20 things that are similar with you and your story and your past with people of success in this profession. And you can take a, take a mirror ad. You know, maybe you say, well, um, you know, I was, uh, I was in foreclosure like Ray was. Okay? Fine. That's fine. Take it. Uh, maybe you say, uh, you know, I, I'm the mother of, uh, you know, of quite a few kids like this leader. Right? Okay? Look at your story. Okay? And I, wanna, I want you to look at the different uh, amazing success stories outside there. And so, you know, you look at, I know people that were homeless. I know people that were sleeping on their mom's couch. I know people that had, you know, been dead broke. I know people that were 30000 in debt, a million dollars in debt, right? Look at the similarities of people. Yeah, and and if, it, if it's just in your company, totally fine. What are the stories of the people that are successful in your company, in this profession? And I want you to do something that no B would ever do. No B would ever list out the similarities between them and someone that's on that stage, someone that's of success. So there's your action step. This, this right here could completely change your life. Hope it helps. Love you guys.
You can find more great marketing, prospecting, and recruiting tips just like these over at rayhigdon.com. And remember to pick up your free copy of his 29 sources of network marketing leads. We'll see you over there.